Good morning, everyone. It is another beautiful fall day here in Vermont, and I have found myself van life camping at a beautiful place that I found on an app called Hip Camp. This spot is quite a bit more expensive than my last Hip Camp stay at about $75 a night, but trust me, it's worth it. And today we're gonna get cozy, explore this beautiful property a bit, do some fall activities, and just enjoy this beautiful fall Vermont. So follow along. Millie, come on. This is so cool. This cute little rustic dock bar thing in the middle of this forest. <laughs> it's so random, but so cool. And you know what? I think I've been to every single one of these states that these license plates are from. Oh, just kidding. I've never been to Rhode Island. Ah, freak, and Montana. I need to go to Montana. Definitely on my list. All right, Millie, what are you having, girl? You wanna? You want old fashioned? Yeah? All right, coming right up. Give me a second. All right, girl. That's all. Ooh. Millie, no dogs on the bar. <laughs> You're going to get us kicked out. Oh, oh gosh. All right, we're making a mess. We need to get out of here. <laughs> this bar is even complete with an outhouse. Oh, wow. Looks like a mouse has been getting into that toilet paper. They love doing that to toilet paper for whatever reason. But honestly, not too bad of an outhouse, but not nearly as nice as the outhouse by camp. I'll have to show you guys that later. This spot is just so perfect for me. It is nice, wide open. There's a clear sky for solar and Starlink. There's all these cool amenities like this right here. This here is just a really cool enclosed hangout, living room, game room. They got a bunch of board games right here, cornhole, and you got this gorgeous view of the fall foliage. Come on, Millie. And on top of it, they've got fresh herbs right here. If I wanted to use any of these for cooking, I, they're free to pick. That is so cool. So I don't really know what the plan is for today but I'm probably just gonna hang around, make some breakfast here, get some work done, maybe make a fire and cook over it a little later. And speaking of which, I'm getting pretty hungry. So let's make some breakfast. Millie, come on. You ready to eat? <laughs> there you go, big girl. So that apple orchard that I stayed at last time, the owners came over to my campsite in the morning and handed me a bunch of fresh veggies that they grew in their garden. So I've got a bunch of just like potatoes and onions and garlic and some fresh eggs that I need to cook up. So I think I'm just gonna do my classic egg, potatoes and veggie scramble.
Look at this stick. Oh my gosh, yes. That's the best stick ever. Millie loves being chased. Not quite sure why, but it's her favorite thing in the world. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. So a lot of places that I camp while I'm on the road don't often have a bathroom that I can use, but thankfully this place has a traditional outhouse in the woods here, which is pretty cool. And it's actually super duper nice. And believe it or not, it actually smells really good in here. <laughs> it does not smell like a bathroom at all. And I think it's because when you go, you put what I think is laundry detergent on it. And this smells really, really good. And on top of that, there's a sink, a trash can, more toilet paper and stuff. They've got everything you need in here. This is better than some public restrooms that I've been to, this is crazy. But give me a second while I uh, take care of some business. So there's this trail right here labeled Magic Point that I want to check out. <laughs> Millie's super excited. This is pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's just a little platform, but it's got a beautiful view of this pond. And it looks like so this is just a place where you can kind of hang out, maybe away from the bugs. I bet the mosquitoes are really bad out here during the summertime.
All right, Millie, you ready to play some cornhole? You're red team, I'm blue team, okay? All right, I'm a little rusty, okay? I haven't played in a long time. So cut me some slack here, all right? Nailed it. Whew, dang, I'm good. Oh, let's go. All right, Millie, it's your turn. What, you, you don't have thumbs? Is that what you're telling me? You Oh, you want me to throw for you? Okay, sure, if you want. Ah, shoot, man. Woohoo, Millie, you made it. You ready? This is it. This is the win. Oh, dang. All right, it's about lunchtime. Getting a little hungry. And I've got these hard-boiled eggs that I boiled the other day. I told you guys when I was staying at the apple orchard, the family gave me some fresh eggs and fresh veggies straight from their garden. And I decided to boil up my stock of eggs since I have so many so I can make egg salad. Never got around to it. But now I'm gonna start peeling these eggs and make me a little lunch. And boom, nothing too crazy, but it's a nice delicious egg salad sandwich. You could definitely use some pickles or a tomato, but this is all I got. One of the simplest and easiest meals you can make. So I ended up falling asleep in this field here. It was actually super, super nice. I don't know why, but I just haven't been sleeping very well lately. So I needed that little power nap. But I figured since there was this nice fire pit here, we might as well utilize it, make a quick fire. And I gathered a bunch of wood, but I also gathered this stuff, which is birch bark. Something I've been wanting to make fires with for a long time. We actually don't have this where I grew up. Using birch bark is actually one of the best ways to start a fire. It just lights up so quickly. See what I'm saying? It just goes. And just like that, we got a nice fire going. That was so satisfying. Birch bark is the best. Millie found her little bed. Is that your, is that your bed, Millie? So today, Millie and I decided to do a nice scenic hike. We are back in New Hampshire in the White Mountain National Forest, I believe. About to do this really gnarly hike. It's got an incredible view at the top. The leaves are really vibrant here, and I'm just so excited. There was a really cool waterfall back there with a pool at the base of it. If I would've known that was there, I would've brought some swimming attire and taken a dip, because that does sound nice. This is a really, really beautiful trail. It might actually be the prettiest trail I've ever hiked on the eastern side of the States. It's very whimsical.
Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Millie, are you thirsty? Man, what a view. This was so worth it. I'm gonna reward myself with a freshly picked apple from Vermont. Millie's pretty toasty, so she's hanging out in the shade. I've got her tied up to a tree over here. It hits different up here. It really does. How you doing, Millie? You staying cool? <laughs> So this is the road that I came in on in my van. And this right here is actually a railroad system that you can ride on, which is pretty cool. And it takes you all through the White Mountain National Forest. And apparently you're allowed to have dogs on there. So maybe I might do that one of these days. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, I think it's about time to head back. This was just a short, quick little hike on my way to Maine because I'm planning on hanging out with some friends tonight which I'm really excited about. Whew, it is hot. So since I'm in the city, I'm putting up all of my Reflectix and I've got these specific cutouts for my windows, specifically for the Ram ProMaster van that I have. And they are great because they fit perfectly in these window nooks and block out a lot of light. If you guys are interested in these, I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video. So I'm here with my friends, Ethan and Caitlin. They actually live in a van too, which they're selling. You got a seller yeah. for it, right? Yeah. yeah, which is super exciting. With it. <laughs> we, we just got our deposit yesterday. Dang, <laughs> but we met up here in Portland, Maine. We're about to go get some delicious food and hang. It's like some of the best, some of the best oysters, lobster rolls you'll get in Ever. town here. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Like, oh. All right, they're sort of from this area, so they definitely know what's best. So I trust them. <laughs> Oh, you were so right. Dang. You got it. Sweet, I get a whole bench to myself. $19 for a lobster roll. I trust you, don't worry. Okay, so we're out here. I'm about to eat my first oyster. Never had oysters in my entire life, so this is gonna be very interesting. They look a little questionable, but I hear they're amazing, so we'll see. All right, let's do this. Cheers. Mmm, dude, yeah, <laughs> that's freaking good. <laughs> Portland at night. Dang, that smells amazing. I know, that that really smell good. Good. Let's go for some seconds. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. It is a nice foggy fall day here in Portland, Maine. Last night I stealth city camped here with my friends, Ethan and Caitlin in the middle of the city, which is pretty cool. It's not something I usually do, but I'm not really sure what the plan is for today. All I know is that I'm hanging out with some friends and I'm happy. It's gonna be a good day. Oh boy. Good morning, folks. Oh boy. Millie, you're tracking dirt in here. <laughs> Millie loves their van for some reason. <laughs> Rightfully so though, I mean, it's beautiful in here. They've got a full on shower with a toilet. <laughs> they got the whole thing. Wow, the soft clothes, that's beautiful. This is their kitchen. It's got 
really good beach vibes in yeah, here, I feel like. That's what I was going for. And their bed converts into this lounge area, which is so sick. I've always wanted to do that, but I'm too lazy to put that down before it I takes go to bed. Two minutes. It does? Yeah, it's really? really not that bad. Is it is it still comfortable even with the sectional oh, yeah. cushions? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, this certainly does feel like a house more than most vans in my opinion. And they built this all themselves, which is super sick. And something that a lot of people don't do, they shut off this area and have a door. How cool is that? And they get into the front, which is great because junk up there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's good security too. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty yeah. sick. Super cool van. Thanks. And luck before we sell it. <laughs> yeah, they're about to sell it, which is pretty awesome but also kind of sad because it's such a beautiful van. But they're moving on to the next best thing. Yes. Potentially a oh. box truck, yeah? Yeah, that's what we're thinking. And they've got the solar on top. They've got their surfboards up there. They've got everything they need, man. This is also a Ram 3500, same one as mine. It's so crazy how we have the same vans, but they're just like so different. I know. <laughs> So since Ethan and Caitlin are getting ready to sell their van, they're taking their van into the dealership today to get a nice little checkup before they hand over the keys to the new owner. And while the van is in the shop, I think we're gonna go out and do some adventuring around the town. This seems like the perfect bridge to jump off of. Make it swing. Oh, it does. It like bounces a little bit. Dude. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Millie doesn't like it. She hates it. <laughs> it's okay, Millie. The bridge isn't gonna fall. These leaves are beautiful. Yay, it's fall. <laughs> I got me a Yerba Mate. I've never had one of these before, but I heard they're actually really good for you. A natural way to boost your energy, so. Tastes pretty good. And I got a coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> I want cool bowls like this for my van. Yeah. I feel like this would fit my van really perfectly. Oh, What's that? You have to get, have a needle. It's a, so it's a uh, chocolate with uh, main potato and it has coconut in it. It's really good. It's so good. In potato? I'm yeah, down to try that. so good. I'll get that. It's... How do you open them? What the? They got these suckers locked up, oh. man. All right. Needums, here we go. Rich coconut and creamy potato dipped in dark chocolate. This is what they look like, folks. Very interesting. Look at the inside of that. Whoa. What do you think? That's really freaking good, dude. Right? <laughs> Holy crap. I love that texture. These are dangerous. I know. Wait, there's only two in here? <laughs> Dang, rip off. I know, yeah. Yeah, this building looks like something out of a movie for yeah. sure. Actually, this whole area seems like a movie Isn't set. It real cool? We're in Hogwarts right now. <laughs> Love this is so cool. Oh. Oh, that was spooky sounding. Something bad is about to happen. <laughs> I can feel it. Dude. Whoa. Smells like a school. This is beautiful. Whoa, a secret passageway. <laughs> Ethan, Caitlin, and Trent Wee's here. <laughs> oh, this should be an R. Oh, we're here. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're back in Portland, getting ready to hunker down for the night. It's been such a good day of exploring around. <laughs> but I think the plan for the rest of the night is to just hang out in the van, make some dinner and cozy up because the temperature is dropping quite a bit tonight and I'm chilly. All right, I'm getting hungry and today I bought 
this new thing from Whole Foods, coconut lemongrass curry that cooks in four to six minutes. It was about five bucks, so let's give it a shot. Seems pretty simple. Boil four cups of water, cook for four minutes, drain noodles, add sauce packet, and eat. It's my kind of meal right there. Here you go, Millie. Time to eat. You know, it's not the biggest meal I've ever had, but it certainly smells and looks good. For five bucks, let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's actually pretty flavorful. That's really good. I just wish there were double the amount in the package. Well, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my night playing some hardcore classic World of Warcraft. I'm in the process of leveling a night elf rogue and I'm actually really enjoying the experience. I've played Horde primarily, but I wanted to try something new, so I thought I'd play some Alliance. 